What's up guys, out of here, bringing you another video on Madden 21 today, and we're back, we are back on uh, Ultimate Team, the last video was Franchise Mode, first part, hope you guys enjoyed, it is something different, um, I do plan on uploading that every other day or every couple days, it's not going to be my priority, um, just with right now content being down in mutt, um, I was going to try something new, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that, if you did show some support on the video, that would be great, um, but yeah, so this video, I've had a couple people ask me on my videos, um, in the comments, ask what chemistries am I using on my players and the chemistries I'm using um, for the team. So this is our lineup. You guys have seen this. If you haven't, go check out my lineup update. Um, some pretty fire uh, additions here. But, so, as you can see to the right, we can go, I'll go over the superstar and um, ability chemi chemistries as well as the team chemistries. So, on Barry, we have, oh, let me activate him back, so don't, don't forget that. So, on Barry, we have Freight Train activated, and that gives us an increased chance to break the next tackle attempt. So, um, that, I think, it's five... Uh, five rushes over 10 yards and that activates and that will stay activated until I get tackled for a loss which rarely happens with Barry um, sometimes it does activate uh, it's, it does take some time to activate this however because I have found that like when I break off for a long run and I score a touchdown that doesn't count even though I could run 99 yards down the field and that's still not going to count as one of my 10 yard rushes. So there has been moments like that where I break a runoff, you know, and I score more than 10 yards. And then when I come back, when I have the ball in the next possession, possession I still didn't gain one from there. So that is something you have to watch out for. Um, but awesome. One of the best, I think, X Factors for uh, our superstars ability for uh, the running back. I also have comeback on him which reduces the zone objectives, which is that five, 10 yard runs um, while losing. So if it's tied, it actually helps when, when it's tied. So to start off the game, I only need four uh, runs over 10 yards. And then when I'm losing, I also need four instead of that five. Energizer replenishes stamina after a successful skill move, which is really nice with Barry, him having the high spin, juke, um, and having that little bit of trucking, but I never really truck with him. Um, I replenish all my stamina right away. So that's an awesome one. Now, right now, the last one, I have evasive. And it grand steerable spin and juke moves. I really haven't seen the difference with the spin. I really don't use spin too often. Um, I am thinking about taking evasive off, refunding it, and only getting the juke moves one where I can steer that one. I forgot what it's called. Um, I think it's jukebox. Yeah, it's jukebox. So evasive, right now, not really worth it. I am going to probably switch that after this video. That's what I have on it right now. I, I, you can definitely tell the steerable move when I juke, but spinning you cannot. Now on covert, I have two abilities. One's called all day, protects better protection against frequent shut attempts. So if, um, if the lineman is just trying to keep shedding and shedding and shedding, he, he's just going to lock him up and he's not going to get by. And the identifier, which is very, very helpful, it highlights the defender your opponent is controlling. So I can see if he is controlling a safety, his linebacker, or if his D-line. Um, D On uh, Andre Johnson here, we have max security, higher success rate on possession catches. Now, I really don't run, like I said, in videos pass i run the ball a lot i don't really pass the ball a lot but having this guy activated on max security um is really nice i really don't remember what it takes to activate him like i said i don't throw the ball a lot so um but yeah it, when it does activate it is really nice because i can just hit x on playstation or a on uh if you're on xbox and he'll possession catch it and it's almost a guaranteed catch every time and then lastly, on Cordell Patterson, um, he has Rack em Up. Now, I didn't put this on. This card came with it. It's a super um, superstar MVP, M MVP card. Um, it comes with Rack em, uh, or Yak em Up, sorry. 
and it is increased chance to break the first post catch tackle now this you need it's kind of weird you need three 20 yard receptions now you can't throw a like a screen to him and have him run 20 yards he has to be 20 yards downfield and catch it so he also doesn't really get activated for me too much um, but those are the abilities and um, superstar abilities that I have on my offensive guys. Now, for as for team chemistries, I use the Chicago Bears, of course. I have 50 out of 50. Um, like down here, says, like down here, I have the Cowboys, Eagles, 49ers, Raiders, and Seahawks. These one out of fives, those are all one player from each team that was on the Bears previously that aren't on right now and don't have a power up for me to switch it. Like Greg Olson here, um, I have Alshon Jeffrey at the four wide receiver slot. But I still get 50 out of 50 Bears. If you don't, if you don't have that 50 out of 50, obviously take these guys out of your lineup and add a bear into that uh, spot. The only position we do not have on Mutt or actually in any game mode because we don't use him is a fullback. So you do have to come up with your, you do have to have your backups. Like as you can see, every spot for me is pretty much filled on this roster, except for the D tackle four. We don't have, we only have three D tackles. So there's that. Uh, Chicago maxed out as you can see a bunch of bunch of upgrades a lot of twos some ones in there the important one is that plus two speed and the plus two change direction that is so huge in this game and that helps out so much so if you can if you are running Chicago Bears theme team make sure you get to 50 out of 50 now on offense i am using balance O. I have played around with a little bit i was using the power run and i tried zone run and it didn't really give the boost i really wanted so i right now i'm sticking with power O, and i am 27 out of 50 on it there is just really not enough cards that are higher uh high enough level or have power-ups on our offense for me to get this higher um, I believe I can get it one more higher with my coach but I'll show you guys that here in a minute um, but yeah right now we're sitting at 27 out of 50 a lot of ones there it does this one does not I believe it doesn't give you speed until oh it doesn't give you speed at all okay so I changed that this year I'm pretty sure last year once you got to 50 on balance oh you got speed but you don't have speed it's just a lot of ones right now um, but it kind of spreads uh, the boost everywhere so everyone should um, benefit from this uh, balance oh now let's get into the defense side of the ball here um, I only have four I only have three guys on the defense side I believe that have abilities on yep so the first one okay I don't know how to say his name um, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it but on him I have run stuffer now this is uh, an awesome awesome thing if you can activate it um, it's block shed that is more effective versus run plays and I mean I've got this activated and him and I mean he just destroys offense alignment when they're running the ball it's they literally have it's literally forcing them to pass um now you need five tackles for a loss so it is very hard to get this activated but once you do i mean it is awesome it is it is unbelievable for ability wise i have stonewall which prevents additional yardage while being tackled so this is awesome for the goal line um and uh, those situations where it's like third and one fourth and one or you know the short yard situations where they need to get a first down or a touchdown this stops him if he tackles them um this also complements pretty well with his other ability which is inside stuff now this one is a glitch totally totally worth the three ap points um it's quicker run sheds against inside and zone plays. Now everyone runs inside zone. And I think this even activates on um, some dive plays and some slam plays. And I mean, he will, as soon as the ball is snapped, he basically instantly just throws whoever's on him. And it forces the running back to either run straight on like the original plan but he's just going to get stopped and with his stone wall they're not going to gain extra yards where he's tackled or it forces them to kick it outside and hopefully um you have i have like mac or quinn or whoever come off the edge in the backfield as well to stop them so inside stuff is really nice um the only thing i would say would benefit uh okay more is if he gets some more speed because sometimes on inside stuff the running back 
I would say only about one out of ten times he can be able to just sprint past him. Normally they have to do some type of ball carrier move, and it almost has to be instantaneous as soon as they get the ball handed to them, or he's just going to stuff them. So this is, right now, okay, he's definitely one of my favorite players on this defense. You don't even have to use him. He just, you just let him go and do his thing, and he's awesome. Now I'll skip over to Mac here. He also has run stuffer. Again, you need five tackles behind the line to scrimmage, uh, or tackles for loss loss um now i have i really wish i believe um sacks don't count towards that total which i'm not sure why because you are tackling them for a loss but um yeah a lot a lot of uh, on run plays it works very well like i said if you have him uh activated he comes off the edge like v very fast and i mean yeah, just get it activated. Get these guys activated on Run Stuffer. It's awesome. Under pressure, larger area of effect for QB pressure and disruption. So, when Max comes off the edge, he's pushing that uh, tackle back, and he's a bigger zone. So, even if he's on the tackle, that zone around him affects the quarterback's throw. So, even though the quarterback isn't really affected by him necessarily, but since he's in a zone... His throws is his throws become under pressure, which forces them to um, throw the pass inaccurately. And then lastly for Williams here, universal coverage improves co uh, coverage and catch knockouts in man and zone. So this is important because it covers man and zone defense. This is I think three incomplete passes. Uh, to Williams' guy when he's covering or in his zone that he's covering or if you get an interception it automatically switches on universal coverage now the only downside to universal coverage is to deactivate it um they only need 30 yards of passing offense so they come out and they start at the 20 after the kickoff or 25 after the kickoff they run the ball for five yards. That doesn't count towards that 30. But they throw the ball for, this has happened multiple times, 29 yards. Well, he's still activated for one more yard, but you can't let them um, throw the ball for another yard. So as long as they don't, they throw the ball under 30 yards, it'll stay activated. So it is pretty nice, but like I said, it is also pretty easy to activate. So that is uh, the catch with that one. Um, the other thing I want to get into here is uh, on defense. I am running 20 out of 25 out of 50 balance D. I really don't really I really don't mess around with any other chemistry on defense besides balance D. Um, this basically just helps every single person on the defense. When if I went for like uh, man or zone coverage, little only the cornerbacks and safeties benefit from it. And there's not, like I said, there's not enough cards and power-ups to actually get a high um, total. So even with the full defense, I only have 25 of one chemistry. Maybe later in the season or in the year, um, I'll be able to switch chemistries, have multiple chemistries on the defensive side. But right now, we're only going with 25 out of 50 on balance D. Um, like I said, hopefully we'll get some more cards and upgrades here, and we'll be able to max that out pretty soon. Um, and I believe that is it. Uh, well, we I have the coaches. Unfortunately, we have heard that we won't be able to upgrade our um, uniforms in stadiums. Like it says, it comes up with this upgrade requires a path locked whatever card, and that's just not in the game. Um, they're unsure if they're going to have us be able to upgrade chemistries on them but they said probably not so unfortunately this year it's going to be a little bit harder to get those base chems of uh, balance offense balance defense or whatever you're going to roll with um with these but your coach still gets it and i believe i still need three more slots yeah to max out with Nagy. I just really don't want to put in the coins. Training is pretty expensive right now. And total would be 6,000 uh, training to get him just two more defensive spots and one more offensive spot. And I wouldn't even reach the next thresh, uh, threshold for offense or defense. So this is that was basically the video. Um, you guys have been asking what... Uh, chemistries and stuff I run these are what I run um, the abilities I'm running on uh, players um, 
So yeah, if you guys enjoyed or have any more questions, please comment down below, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching for the first time. Peace.